Good morning, everybody. This is Kurt H. I am the Lazy Farmer. <clears throat> I'm not even awake yet. Oh, my goodness. I'm too loud for myself. Neighbors are complaining, and I am the neighbor. All right. Anyway, let's get rolling. we got a lot to do today. And first and foremost, on my list of things to do is going to be going over the... A uh, new update that came out, I think yesterday, as a matter of fact. We're talking, or is it, I think it was yesterday. Or was it Friday? I can't remember. I know that I was at work yesterday and bored, chilling on a golf cart. And, yeah, and I was looking over and I'm like, oh, wait, there was an update? I was looking on my phone and I'm like, I can't wait to get home. And then, of course, I get home and then other things take precedence. Like my daughter, anytime she wants to play... My plans go out the window, I go play, spend as much time with, you know, my daughter and my son as much as I can. My son, I'm proud of him, he he's he does FFA, he's still in high school, he does FFA, and he went to, um, oh, I can't, I can't think, I'm drawing a blank, but basically he was going up and getting, you know, getting some high honors up at the state capitol, and uh, he won the top, he, for his particular field of interest put it that way um he got top honors and uh he's now got to submit all his books and everything and if he gets if they accept his books then he goes to the regionals in or not the regionals but the nationals in indianapolis so uh my daughter did ffa he's actually gotten farther than my daughter ever has so i'm proud of that kid and uh, it was on Twitch last night, too, of all things. I He was up there with his mom. So, yeah, we stopped, my daughter and I stopped what we were doing and, wa and watched Twitch and watched my son win. That was nice. So, all right. Anyway, on to Railroader. So, huge update. I mean, we could take a look at the panel here. When you come into Railroader, here's everything that they've done. Up, It's update 2024.3.0, so the update for March. And let's see, starting at the very top, we're going to go right down to bullet points so you guys know exactly what they're doing. This is what impresses me about Railroader, and I'm going to come to a couple of points in here because I already read through this, obviously, getting ready for the show. Um, Atlantic Locomotive Works is now offering three new steam locomotives, the T-22, the A-23, and the F-71. Now, because I'm in career mode, I the only way I can show those is I have to purchase them and I don't have the money to do that. So. I could have I could come in in sandbox mode if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm sorry, you have to wait. Um, C55 and old wooden caboose models updated. Old wooden caboose is now colorable. I don't use caboose. I gotta figure out what what per other than putting them at the end of the train because that's the era they use caboose. Uh. Other than that, do they serve a purpose? In other words, since this is a game that is revolves around making money so you can expand your railroad, is it going to be something that um, is going to help generate more money? Uh, it doesn't seem to affect the safety rating by not having, by not running a caboose at the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, at the beginning, uh, you have one caboose. I sell it to have extra money so I can make some more purchases. So, something to look into. Uh, revamped tree, grass, plant, rendering, river, and roadbed edges are more natural now, too. Uh, this is where I'm at right here, if you look at my cursor. And, yeah, I will say that they do. The grasses look better. Um... Yeah, riverbed went down to a river, looked, and in some places, you know, you, the water is right, is rendered right up next to the shore, so it looks more natural. And in other places where I've seen, not so much. They still, they still have some work to do. Uh, added customers at Natahala, at Hewitt, and Westner. I'm not there yet, but that's farther down the line, so they've added some customers. Uh, that's nice, uh, but what from what I have seen, even though I'm not down there yet, from what I have seen, the tracks are there, but the assets are not as of yet. Um, and the, speaking of assets, there is something I've been watching some of the chat. 
uh, in the area, and you're going to see it when I get into the game, that uh, you're going to ask the question, were those telephone poles and wires always there? No, they weren't. They're brand new. They And I don't think they mentioned them anywhere. We'll see. We'll go down through the list here, but I don't remember seeing them mentioned anywhere. Uh, but it's kind of nice to see something like that, that those are the telephone and tell or because in this era, I think telephones just kind of still kind of coming into its own. I th I'm thinking 1930s. So rural 1930s telephones weren't everywhere, but they were coming into their own. Telegraph was still a thing. Um, so, or some forms of telegraph were kind of a thing, I believe. Uh, revamped water and coal consumption usage is significantly lower and is governed by reverser and throttle position. Attractive effort is not affected. I, that's something that I have been talking about uh, when you, and I've always said that when I run the train, if I run it, I seem to be more efficient than when the AI runs it in the use of water and coal. And it shouldn't be that way. It should be the same. Um, that's my opinion, you know, so, and basically, um, it should be a, it should be to the point that it teaches the player, me, you, um, to learn how to operate the steam locomotive efficiently. And you can gauge that by how fast you go through water and how fast you go through coal. So, uh, so revamp water and coal consumption. We'll have to take a look at that if they've, if they've, Lowered it means I can go longer, but I'm going to see if it's still going to be the same as what, the difference between AI and me. Added engine roster window open with R to E switching between power. I looked at that last night, um, and yes, that is a really cool feature. You and I'll go over that when I get into it. Uh, performance enhancements related to car movement. I didn't see so much of that. I don't know what they were looking at, but I will tell you that I'm going to point something else out. And it's something that even uh, my good buddy Hank, I was talking with him last night in Discord. And honestly, uh, he didn't notice it until I pointed it out. And then once I pointed it out, it became an annoyance to him too. Um, but what, and I'm going to point it out to you guys, so I'll let you be the judge for your own self. Is it uh, an annoyance for you, or is it cool? You be the judge. I'm going to turn my yeah. I'm hitting really peaking here. Here we go. Here we go. All right, that should be good. I might don't lower my voice. I just lowered a little bit in in OBS. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. AI now warns when handbrakes are on or brake line is open when starting movement. Okay, I, I there was something I was doing last night, and I thought I didn't get a warning. But this specifically said if I had left the handbrakes on, or if I had not engaged or, you know, laced up the, the brake lines. That's the term, lace up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Quincy White will be proud of me using that term. Um... Compass display at top of screen is now much more accurate and track direct, it tracks directly with camera position. Okay. Really doesn't use the compass that much, but okay. All right. Added percentage graphics to tool tips for equipment loads and fuel loaders. I want to point that one out. Um, there's a mod that I, that I, I, took, I disabled the mod because of this statement right here. The bot was called Better UI, and it added percentages. Uh, so when you, you know, you move the throttle or you move the reverser, um, instead of having just saying R or F or N, it actually had a percentage. So it would be minus 100% for reverse, 100% uh, for forward, and then zero would be neutral. So that as an example, or you hover over the tender, and it would actually tell you that you, you know, how much coal, still told you how much coal, how much water you had, but it would give you an idea of how, a better idea of how much happens because it would follow with the percentage as well, too. So if you're at 50% water, you know you're half full, you know, or half empty if you're a pessimist. 
Um, all right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Added time to console messages. Okay, all right. I'm not sure. Maybe for some people that's a benefit. For me, I, I just, yeah, okay, whatever. I might actually, no, I can see that helping now. Because there's some times I went and looked and like, okay, when, where was, you know, did I get paid for those cars? And I have to scroll back and, oh, I got paid, I got paid like 15 minutes ago and I missed it. So, all right, added shift click on engine in map to select. <clears throat> um, map mods still got that a little bit better. Uh, you don't have to shift click, you just click on the locomotive in the map mod. So I do highly recommend the map mod, you guys will see that when we get going here. Uh, added add from train button to switch list. Okay, we'll give that a try. Um, I I'm a, I hesitated because I don't switch. I just don't do it. I I don't do it like I should. I started doing it more and more just because it's in the game and it actually is a great way to make sure that you're getting all your work done. Um, <clears throat> and I do. Um, usually I will go out and I'll hit, if, and once the cars come into the interchange, I will jump to each of the, um, each of the depots and grab the switch list from them, go in there and just click everything, and that way I know what I'm doing, my pickups. I, I would like to see in real, in run eight, and you'll see it on my left, you watch my last run eight video that when you look at the switch list, it actually is divided into two sections. The upper section is the set outs, the lower section is the pickups. I kind of like to see the switch list divided like that. You know, you go, you know, or whether it's, or it's color coded, but I would rather see them, se you know, separated. You know, I have, these are the car, the set outs of the cars that are on the train. I got to put those away, you know, at the proper industries. And then you go down and look at, okay, uh, okay, I got all these cars I need to pick up. So it's just a little bit better organization. Um, all right, so added slash repair command to repair selected train. That's something I never use. Um, not just the slash repair because that's brand new, um, but it's something that in the chat window you can type in like slash transport, slash repair, things like that. I, I never use that. That's just me. If you like it, and I know I've watched those that do it. Go ahead and do it. Knock yourself out. But I so I just never did. Uh, updated car tag colors to be more evenly distributed across the railroad. Okay. Uh, there was something I knew that I, that I saw. Um, it's uh, not sure if it's part of the mod, uh, the mod, map mod. I don't know why I get tongue twisted on that. The map mod that I use. Or if it's new to the game, I would have to I would have to disable the map mod, but I really don't want to do that because I really like it. Um, but now there's a drop down list so you can pick in uh, different areas like Whittier, Bryson, Hewitt, wherever you want to go. Uh, it shows the color for them. Um, it's actually really pretty cool. I mean, that was something I've never seen that before. I saw it last night. I got excited about it. I really liked it. Fix the Ella Trestle abutments. Okay, that one was bugging me. I didn't say anything. But you'll when I went over Ella last night, yes. Uh in the past, you might not have kept, caught it, but the the tra the track went straight to the Ella bridge and then the bridge was off just a little bit to the left. So instead of being a nice gentle curve into the bridge, it was a little hitch right there to the left. And it wasn't natural. I'm like, okay, the, uh, but, you know, this is early access. I just figured at some time they're going to fix it. Well, they fixed it. And I ran over the bridge. And it's when you run up the track, it is straight into the bridge. So it come, it looks great. It looks absolutely great. I want to break this. I don't know if they're going to have. Let's see how far. We got a lot more. We got not have much more to do here. Um, but. I want to say too that I noticed that the uh, in some areas the ballast on the track looks great. Oh my god, they 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 enhanced it. But there's also in some areas there's a little like mini canyon. I don't know, or a little yeah, little ravine or something that you're going to go through on your way to Bryson. 
and the ballast is like halfway up the sides of the hills. That doesn't that doesn't seem natural. I mean, if it, I mean, because it comes out and there's a ditch. That's where the water goes. That's the idea behind the ballast. Is it displaces the water off to the sides and then the ditch carries them wherever it carries them. Um, and the ballast being down in that ditch and maybe a little bit, just a little bit up the side, that looks like more natural. And then you'd get into the, the, the hills. But this is like a good, I don't know, six feet up. If, you know, in, in scale mode, maybe, but yeah, about, you know, six feet up the side of the hills. And I'm like, that doesn't look right to me. <clears throat> I'll, if I see it, we go into it, I'll point it out. Um, let's see. A fixed overhead camera snapping to directly above car. Okay. Uh, and fixed AI reading 25 mile an hour speed limit near Bryson East and Whittier Y. Okay. Fixed AI not keeping current speed when enabling the road mode while moving in reverse. I had not noticed that problem. I had noticed... In the in the past, I had noticed that if I was okay, if I was already going down the road, and then I said, okay, I'm going to give it or turn it over to AI because I want to go jump to another train, and I would click on road mode, it would immediately drop to zero. Well, they had fixed that. It kind of whatever your whatever your speed is, it, when you click uh, go to road mode, your speed and direction are already set in road mode so you can just click road mode and go i like that that was good they fixed that a while ago uh, but that particular issue of not, of the ai not keeping current speed and enabling uh when enabling road mode in re especially, specifically in reverse i never saw that so i'm not sure who was reporting that um let's see fixed car tag overlay rendering behind water sometimes uh that one Fix car tag overlay rendering behind water sometimes. Oh, maybe the water coming out of the spouts. I'm just trying to think because, I mean, I haven't run into any waterfalls yet. So, hmm, interesting. Okay. Fixed higher tree density causing trees to disappear in places they should be, they shouldn't be. Oh, to appear in places they shouldn't be. Fixed higher tree density because, well, I have the tree density. I do have those turned down a little bit. That's something I'm going to point out, too. I mean, they, they they adjusted. You'll see it when you look at the trees as I start to play. Um, like like a little mini storm or something going on. Before, in the past, the trees, they they were they would wave. I mean, okay, slight breeze. I got it. But now these trees are, like, moving a lot, and they're really flexing back and forth. So it's kind of like, oh uh, yeah, we got a storm coming in or something. I don't know. It's it's like you know, 30 mile an hour winds, things like that. Should we be moving the train in these winds? I'm just saying. And somebody else, you know, like I said, my buddy Hank, he also noticed that too. And he goes, yeah, man, these trees really are moving. So they might want to slow that down in the future. Uh, fixed engines consuming coal when there's no water and vice versa. Well. You're managing a railroad right you should never be out of coal you should never be out of railroad i mean out of railroad out of water so okay well fix mines loading too many cars when waiting sleeping okay fix signal lenses appearing impossibly dark in fog all right and made water hatches more lenient in positioning below water columns when towers um I guess, okay, so what they're basically saying is they increase the hitbox on those a little bit. Um, I probably didn't have an issue with that. I mean, I know that you had to pretty much almost line up uh, the water hatch with the water spout. You guys have seen me do it. Uh, I've been a little bit slightly off, but sometimes hitting a dead center where I need to stop. That's railroad handling, guys. Come on. Who out there is whining because they, 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 you know, they pull up too fast and they get past and they, what do you want? You want to be able to like maybe pull up the last car of the train and then fill water into your locomotive? Give me a break. That's just whining. I didn't think, I didn't have a problem. That's just me. Though. I did not have a problem with it. I know Mr. White didn't have a problem with it. 
So, but that's the update. That's all the bullet points. That's a lot of work. So, uh, what I'm going to point out is, um, this is the difference between between railroad and run eight as of right now. Um, run eight had the, their maps have issues. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and I'm still all about run eight. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I mean, I'm not dogging. I'm just. I'm dogging on the developers that um, run eight needs to be very active, and even if it's small little updates, you know, hey, we we we, we fixed some issues that were we've noticed in San Bernardino sub. The, the, you know, in the town of whatever, or, you know, hey, we saw some, there were some issues in and around Victorville. Here's a small little update. Let's go up to, oh, we're updating that. That shows that the developers are active. And everybody's telling me, you know, let it go because between version three and, I mean, between version two and version three, there were years. And then all of a sudden version three, three showed up. That's a problem. All right, that is that's really a problem where you're not communicating with your with your community and people leave, but the diehard modern day railroaders, you know, will stay with Run Eight. I'm staying with Run Eight. I did a Run Eight stream the other night, last night, night before, um, so which went really well. I'm back on back in the Roseville area, which made a lot of people happy. There's the trees. Look at the trees. Look at this. There is a storm brewing. So. We talked about the new roster, the engine roster. Well, I got my. This is these are the engines that I own. I only own three. So I got one sitting at, like this. One sitting in a fusey. Two that are under orders to stop. Uh, the one that I am looking at, I'm actually was a part of using is this one right here, my number three. And I got a check mark on there. I can star it. So it's always at my favorite locomotive. The one I use the most is always at the top. You know, if you want to go that route. If you know your numbering system, if you have a numbering system, which I might have to come up with one later on right now. This is just the third locomotive that I've purchased, which would be the Pacific. Um, yeah. I mean, then we have, what was this? This is, this is a show inspector panel. So right now you notice I've got no inspector panel. So I can click on that. There's my inspector panel for my locomotive. And if I didn't have it already... Oh, that's new too. Hello. Uh, usually when you come into the game, the locomotive is not selected. And I just noticed that this was here. That's the last locomotive that I used before I, in, my, in the last save. So that was already there. That's nice. But then if I wanted to, I can go and I can go overhead and go look at the locomotive and do all that. and. So, that's pretty cool. I might like it. I like the little engine roster thing. That's cool. All right. And let's see. The slash repair. Now, this one, I want to look at my equipment. This is 100%. Um, I need, actually, you know what I need to do? I do need to do this. Let me go to map mode. All right. So, if I grab this little handle right there, I can make this a little bit bigger. Um, so, you can see the colors. Anything that would be yellow would be going back to, I think, uh, yep, right here. I got a bunch of cars that need to go back. These are the, This is the bridge area. And then I also have some cars here that need to go back. This would Appalachian Hardwoods. Um, that would be the one thing I would like in the map mod. What industry name this is. Put a little industry name right there. You know, something. But anyway. Oh, and then uh, I can follow mode, which we follow, I lock on to whatever I'm going to be following. And then this is the jump to. This is the screen that I was saying. I don't know if that's part of the map mod. I think it is. Or if it's part of just the map in general. I'd have to disable the map mod and come back in and see if this is there. But I like the fact that it shows all the locations with their corresponding colors. So, nice. I like it. All right. So, anyway, I need to go grab these cars. I got to drop this car off at Appalachian Hardwoods anyway, which is over here. 
So I need to go basically drop this car off. I need to grab these two cars, pull back, come up, hook up to the up all these cars here. And then we're going to go and start working our way. Now switch lists. Let's go look at switch lists. So add from train. Join or create a train crew first. What? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is this not part of a train crew? No, I am. Okay. Interesting. Well, that might be... Join or create a train crew first. Join or create a train crew to add cars. Okay, well, I did. Let me check another spot. Ah, uh, that might be it. I did not join. I did not join. All right. I don't know what else to call it. I'll let you guys tell me. You guys tell me what I should call my train crew. All right. So now we can go to the switch list. Ooh. So you can't get a switch list unless you're part of a train crew. Okay, cool. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Add from train. No cars to add. All right, we'll see. I got a lot of work to do here. So I've got, uh, I've got a car waiting for me. They can use to go to, to that's waiting at the sawmill. Go to Connolly Creek L3. That may change. Um, but see, this is what I'm saying. Um, Appala is at Appalachian Hardwoods needs to go to East Whittier Chain. So destination. This would be uh I'm in Bryson. This needs this one saying right this car right here, L and N two five seven eight three, two five seven eight three, Bryson, Appalachian Hardwoods. This should be there should be two parts to this list. The upper part would be the set outs, that would be this car here, and then everything else would be in the pickups. And all these Connolly Creek ones would be set outs as well, too. So anyway, all right, let's go ahead and let's do, let's go get to work. We've got work to do. Um, what is going on here? Oh, okay. So I'm going to disconnect, hold down the shift key and click on that. Yeah, that would you hold the left shift and click on it. Then it opens the ankle cocks as well, too. And that's what the little marker down here was giving me the other night. Uh, I'm like, I was not. I mean, the glad hands were laced up. All right, this is the part I wanted to point out, too. And this is where, I, if I, if it drives you nuts, hey, blame me for pointing this out if you had never seen it. But I'm looking at the wheels right here. They, I mean, first of all, I has anybody ever seen a railroad wheel? The bogeys, anything this clean? No, I mean, they're dirty, real life, they're dirty. And this shiny, the point that it's reflecting the clouds in the sky. Um, I mean, they might be shiny, uh, somewhat shiny just from running on the rails, but to the point of being chrome. And then, why would it be reflecting the clouds? when it's underneath the car. So I, I just, uh, just some stuff that I did. You know, like I said, that stuff that I noticed, I pointed out to Hank. He went, thanks. Now it's irritating me too. That's my job. My job's to irritate everybody. What can I say? It's my job. I'm good at it. You do what you're good at. All right. So once again, if you like the content that, I've, that I am providing, please click that thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm streaming next, and then share this out. There we go. There's my commercial. All right, let's go. Well, you know what? I just noticed too. Hang on before I get rolling here. There we go. Let's get off the manual. Um. All right, they were talking about dimensions, or not percentages. 
I'm not sure where I was at now. I need okay, so I'm not seeing the percentages. I did disable the uh UI mod. I'm gonna put it back in. I will add it back in because oh I see what they did. Um right next to where you see in the water how many waters there's a little circle right there. So it's a visual representation of how much water I have. And of course I use yellow mouse. That's where the cursor comes from. And so underneath the cursor is so maybe they need to move that away from the cursor a little bit. So you can actually read the whole thing. Just a little bit, not much. Maybe about three letters. But that's what that that's what they're talking about in there. They added that. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's a good visual representation, but I will put the uh that you better you know better UI mod back on again. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go do it. Let's 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 pretend like we know what we're doing. All right, I want to get in here. We are going to reverse that one. That one needs to stay reversed. That's reversed, but then we need to reverse this one as well. And that should put us on to we're fortunate. All right, we're gonna shove. Let's go and start working our way back. We're gonna get some cars and go way back. Um, oh wait, actually, before you know what, I keep thinking of some things that I need to do. Let's go ahead and put the brake back on again. Uh, I hit F12. Like I'm gonna jump back down on the. Okay, never mind. Uh that's railroad. That's our run eight. I mean, before I do this. I'm going to use R and where are we? Fusey. It's going to be this one here. Let's take a look. Yep. So there, we're going to select that one. We got logs. We got to bring these back down. We're going to do the logging. It's only 930. So yeah, we need to get some logs down. All right. Okay, now if I go here, it brings me back. See, that's what I can go there. I can look at it that way. But if I hit F1, so I need to jump. All right, we're going to transport ourselves in, and we're going to do that. And I like using the map mod for this because it's actually... Well, since they did the update, I need to check to see, but it's actually really more accurate. I do the left control and T to transport. It actually puts me right where I need to be. Maybe not facing in the right direction, but that's minor. All right, let's head down. Leave. We're looking good on coal, looking good on water. Jump up. Come on, jump. Oh, I'm stuck. Really? I cleared it? Not even in my dreams would I do that. All right. Nope. I've got. So we're going to do R again. I'll get used to this. There we go. Orders, manual. Actually, I'm going to do that. Reverse. That was about 20 miles an hour. There we go. Not to pay attention because there is no refusey that I have put in the gauge to stop this particular train. Ooh, look at six, seven, eight. This might actually be kind of worth to keep right down about here. We add a little plus symbol there to the roster. Here's my thing. You know what? 
click on this why not have a picture you got a lot of dead space right here how about moving this stuff down a little bit and put in a picture of that locomotive right there right underneath it give us something look at that. two a 2102 steam locomotive oh yeah 284 for the Berkshire but the F71 Santa Fe price is 38,000 oh I think it's a doable I just you know what we can focus on that that might be worth it to me to add the Santa Fe just because that's like local Santa Fe Pacific Pacific all that kind of stuff but to get that Santa Fe locomotive in here and then start running cars up from that'd be my that'd be my road my road locomotive right there and I would actually expand back to Silva again and start working Silva so I got a plan I have to have a plan in place to go to Silva that plan would be to buy okay this is this needs to be fixed Hmm, interesting. But anyway, I would my plan would be to get I'd have to buy at least six to twelve um I'm gonna go to ten miles an hour here. But sit you know, six to twelve pulpwood cars, put them all up here and let them load up, then expand to Silva. And then get those pulpwood cars down the mountain because I would need them at the tan they're needed at the tannery and they're needed at the uh, uh, at the paper mill in Silva. That was a mistake I made my first go around. I would didn't pay attention to my industries. But yeah, I would actually recommend putting a picture of the locomotive. What does it look like? All right, let's jump down. This is actually gonna be kind of fun. I like using art yard. But reverse, no forward. And let's go forward. Ten cars. Clear for ten. I forgot. He goes forward up the mountain, and then reverses down the mountain. I'm mulling in my head if I should, at some point. Go to the Y and turn this locomotive around so he's actually backing up the mountain and then he's pulling down. Doesn't really matter. But if I wanted to do it right, set it up right, couple to three miles an hour. He's at nine, eight. And watch right down here, seven miles an hour, six, five. He did not couple at three miles an hour. He was excessively fast. Wow. Um. Yeah, they got the little. I can see right there next to where it says three logs. It's got the little circle. That's kind of cool how they do that. That's all right. So everything's got that. But also, what should be on this little panel if you just hover? I shouldn't have to click to get the inspector, but just hover. If there's damage. Give us a bar right there next to the car number, a bar. If the bar's full, or if the bar if there's no bar there, the car there's nothing wrong with the car. But if there's any kind of damage on the car, that bar starts to fill up. So uh, like right now I go to the, I go, this car is ninety seven percent damaged. So Yeah. 
at some point these cars are going to have to go up to Bryson. So I'm going to have to order more cars. I can go up to Bryson's, put them all. I only say Bryson just because they've got a longer, um, longer repair tracks. So I can stick the entire, almost the entire string on one track. Let them sit for one day. They'll get all repaired. That is how you jump onto the back of the tender. Because riding on the back of the tender is, yeah, that's like, okay. Anyway, oh, hey, wait a second. Put a handbrake on. Apply. Release. Okay. Did such a good job of jumping onto the tender. Okay, we're going to go back to here and let's back to that. Orders, reverse, road. 20 miles an hour. All right. I should have a fusey to come to up, come up against in the gauge. So on the way down, I just need to make sure that is set right, but that one is set wrong. So now it's set right. Perfect. And there is a fusey. That's a big red dot right there. So, all right. So we just let we can let this one go until he gets to the fusey. We're just gonna ride it. And I believe I've got cars I need to go in. Pull because I don't have room for barely have room for 12 cars, and I've got three cars in there because the, the, the sawmill works 15 cars a day. So there's three already sitting in. They should all be empty or close to being emptied. We're going to see. But I'm thinking I might sell those three cars. I bought them. I thought it might be a good idea. But now I'm thinking I might sell them. And it might just be better to stay with the 12 cars and do two trips up the mountain. Because it takes about an hour for the, for the, the cars to get loaded. And if I can run up and come back down. If they can unload two sets of cars a day, that's 24 cars. I'm meeting my contract. So I'm, I'm over meeting the contract, to be honest with you. Um, I could go back to, to eight cars. I could actually just go back down to eight cars. Don't even have to stop at the first siding. Go all the way up into the second one, because that, that takes eight cars. It'd just be a straight shot up, straight shot back. Do that twice a day. That's 16 cars, and right now my contract is for 15. I've met it. And I can put some more money back in my pocket. I might do that. I actually might do that. Sell off some of the cars that are maybe damaged. Instead of putting money into repairing them, sell them off. And just keep eight cars and just do two runs a day. I'm already doing two runs a day. And if I do two runs with eight cars, that's 16 cars. I've met the contract. Okay, that might work out. And then I can start buying pulpwood cars. And stick pulpwood cars up on these tracks and get them starting. You know, if, even if they just sit there and get loaded and then never get pulled out, at least they're loaded. Um... I just have to assign them a track spot. And I think that's what loads them. If I'm thinking ahead of here, I don't think I have to have a destination for loaded cars. If I do, that means I, they'll sit there and wait until I activate Silva. 
and then I go back to the cars and set them up to where they load. Oh, that's a pain. I'd rather have the cars get preloaded. Okay, here's a thought. What's up, Christopher? How you doing? Watch out for the bear. I am the bear. That would be... You know what? That would add a lot to the res how much resources this you know this game would use. But that actually, Christopher, is not a bad idea. I would go by and see a bear or maybe see some deer. You know, something like they do in Farming Sim. You got deer, you got birds. So, how are you doing this morning? Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, it's only 9.30. I'm looking at the time up here in the corner. It's only 9.35 in the morning. Um, I've already worked my interchange. I've got one car left, and now it's now I'm going to be going through and doing whatever pickups that I need to do. Uh, get those back to the interchange, so I can make money off of those. I'm actually in really good shape this for this day here, which is what day day eleven. So, not bad. Fixing to fire up yours. Nice. Well, Chris, I'm telling you, it's not my fault. I'm just going to I'm gonna say it right now. You fire it up, and then you fail to go to sleep tonight, and tomorrow's a work day. It's not my fault. I'll be laughing the entire time, but it's not my fault. All right, let me jump off here. Break a leg. Boom. I added it to, uh, if you, I think you guys can see it, that uh, if you look at my favorite videos uh, on my YouTube channel, I added one last night. Southern Pacific uh, moving sweet potatoes down in the, San, down around the Santa Maria area. No. No, it's not. I, I deny everything. Railroader? I have no idea what you're talking about. And of course, about the time I'm saying to the authorities, I have no idea what you're talking about, a train goes by and I go, squirrel. All right, so I've got these cars here, which I really, I mean, these ones, what, I got three? I might actually just pull these back and sell those. Like I said, I might sell them. And then I just I just might just might do that. Keep myself down to eight cars and just do two runs a day. What is my contract? Uh locations and Whittier Sawmill. So I'm at a tier three right now. I've got no change. Nobody talked you into anything. It's not like we would sit there and go, you got to play this game. Because, yeah, you got to play this game. But, all right. So, I'm current. Yeah, see, right now I'm currently sitting at 99% logs in storage at the sawmill. So, I, and, there, and those aren't going to process. And I got full cars sitting. Oh, my gosh. I got one. This one car is, this one car is loaded over here. The other ones are still being loaded, so dimensional lumber, furniture, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but 15 cars a day, two strings, twice a day of eight cars would meet that, would definitely meet that. That'd be 16 cars a day. I would meet that contract at the sawmill. And that might be enough to keep it in logs. So I'm going to roll the dice here. And I am going to Sorry, I got distracted. My boss uh, I, he's messaging me with something that I already knew. 
that uh, we have one more week, four days, four days left, and then we go into spring break. Um, but I am going to be busy, even during spring break. I mean, I would, not like the holidays where I had nothing to do, to sit there and stream every day. No, I think I got Friday, we're off Friday, so I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, so I got four days there. Tuesday, I got, I might be able to get a stream in. We just got a game. Wednesday is a day off, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm out of town. I'm gone. I'm in, I'm in Southern California. So, all right. Anyway. Let's go back down here. I need to pull those four out. I'm gonna set them here, and I'm gonna sell many of those three. I'm gonna set them here, then I'll pull them back into the exchange yard. I'm going to I'm gonna set them for sale. I'm gonna sell those off, and I think that those are actually in good shape. So let's go ahead and go forward at about five miles an hour, just because I want them to come on up. And then he'll stop at a certain point. And I like this too. Did you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed this. So this is what they were talking about in the update. You look at the water, how it comes right up to the edge. It looks exactly like water up to the edge of the, you know, right up to the edge of the shore here. I mean, they made that look good. But then the rocks, they added rocks all over the place. And they added rocks in the river as well too. So, yeah, it looks good. That's a nice shape. But then the wheels, like, look at the wheels. Look how shiny they are. It's like I never. No time to rail fan. Oh, I'll probably get some. In fact, I was, you know what? It's funny you say that. Because the camera. What's up? There's my daughter, ladies and gentlemen. That's my daughter, Tana Marie, jumping in here. How you doing, baby girl? What's up? I know you're off today. Yes, and we will play some Lotro. I promise. I got about an hour left of this stream, and then I, we can go play. So, don't know if we're going to stream that one. Don't know. It's definitely not for kids, because she and I are playing characters in Lord of the Rings Online, and we have our character set for difficulty level 9. So, you run into a mob that wants to hurt you? Yeah, one mob. That hurt wants to hurt you. All it has to do is look at you, and you lose 50% of your health, of your health points. No, I'm kidding. Well, I I mean, yeah, we can. I mean, I know um, I know you wanted to run your lore master. That's fine. I mean, that we're in two different locations, two different places on lore master. Um, so it'll be just like we can hang out and chat, and you learn your lore master. I can go get back on my hunter and. And go run the new content that they just dropped, or we can go run the baby tunes and start, you know, getting our mariners leveled up. You're back on your regular night starting tomorrow. Okay, there you go. All right, approaching YVRR four o five four. Oh, let me. That's something I want to talk about too. When you actually. Uh, I, something happened yesterday after the update. It was not the update's fault. Um, but I thought the update jacked up Railroader. No. I'd rather run to Baby Tunes, to be honest with you. I, I kind of want to investigate the Mariner. Um, I want to see what more skills we get on the Mariner. All right, he's down to about a car. Three miles, two miles an hour. Let's go half a mile. You go in half. Okay, I misjudged. Come forward about half a car. But anyway, um, when I and when I did the after I did the update, all of a sudden I couldn't get into um, into the game it would it would start to load and then it would just jump back to what do you want to do screen so it turned I, I put komodo internet security and if you've never looked at komodo or never used komodo for internet security i would highly recommend it um 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead, let's go back to road, go in reverse. About 15 miles an hour, we'll pull these cars out. Look at this, already got, already got logs coming off. But I would highly recommend it, but here's the issue. Uh, it was Komodo. It actually, it doesn't recognize that, you know, Railroader was a program, and so it quarantined it, basically. Uh, or actually, they don't call it quarantine. They call it containment. So things that are in containment are kind of left up. What do you want to do with it? Quarantine is absolutely, this is a virus. We're going to get rid of it. Uh, no, this was containment, so I had to go back in and um, uh, basically remove it from containment and say, then tell Komodo that everything's fine ever since then it's been fine. Um, I like Komodo because it doesn't, unlike I've passed one, so I don't want to name names Norton. Um, but sometimes it seems like they slow things down. I don't ever, I have never felt that way with Komodo. And yes, they're not paying me for this endorsement, but I'm just going to tell you that Komodo has caught stuff before anybody's even knew that that stuff was around. So, but yeah, no, I, I yeah, if, if you're okay with it, baby girl, I think Mariner. Mariners might be fun. Save your lore master for when I'm at work. I'll save my hunter for when you're at work. That kind of stuff. All right, now we're going to go ahead and push these cars forward. Do it manually. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm literally like right at an hour. So, am I, am I, I think I've been, actually I know I have Discord up. Oh, you did send me a message in Discord. Well, I don't hear it because I'm streaming. Good morning, she says. Uh, and no, I am not in, not even in my streaming studio. That's all right. Oh, plus I, you know what? And actually, um, if you can get your, if you're, well, if your buddy decides he wants to play today, I don't know if he's, a, if you got him scheduled to work or not, but, um, if your buddy wants to play, I think three of us are level nine, but it's fine because we're working together. And yeah, those two characters love at plus nine chaos. Uh, by the time when we hit level 50, if we don't change that, we get some pretty, we're supposed to get some pretty good rewards, but what they say are pretty good rewards, they being standing still games, the developers, and what I say are pretty good rewards are two different things. He works closing. Man. His boss gave him a closing shift? What a bitch. Yeah, I know you are. You are his boss. <laughs> ah. All right, go ahead and set the handbrake on that one. Not like it's really needed. And we'll do left shift and click on the couplers. That turn basically closes the angle cocks as well. Which I, like I said before, I really don't like that because that just means that I'm bottling air, and bottling air is no, no, we don't do that in railroad. Or actually, I can go back into road mode on this one. Reverse. So I wonder how much sleep your brother got last night. I bet he was still jumping up and down when he went to bed. I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. Your brother, my son. All I know is that he was FFA and he won an amazing award, award but that's about it because obviously I got to protect his, protect him. All right, we're going to go ahead and we can flip this switch. Going to forward, wait for it to come to a stop.
all right and we'll go forward about 10 miles an hour we'll push in and this so we're basically done at this point here we can walk away from this locomotive he'll do everything and he'll push in and park actually we're not done i was just gonna say we're done i'm so used to being done just like walking away at this point if it wasn't for these cars yes we could walk away at this point i want to sell these um so left control and click in the center go to equipment repair destination the sell destination is going to be east whittier and we don't have an option to go to all the other we'll get 510 so this will be about 1500 dollars so we got to do that to all this all these equipment here we're going to get rid of these All right, we're going to sell those cars off. So I'm losing money by doing that. But, and then as these cars get down, we're going to take it back down to eight cars. And I'll look at, I'm going to take a look at them all. I wish there was a way to look at all the cars in a string as a whole. And go, oh, I need all these cars that need to be repaired. And then go through and set them. That'd be kind of cool if we could do that. But this is still in early access. Who knows? Maybe later on we'll get that option. I will. I'll send you a message in Discord. And I will send you a text message as well too. So I appreciate you popping in and saying hi. Talk about you every so often on the thing that does my infamous daughter, Tana Marie. And of course, you know, we play Demonology as well. Not, well that one's on hold until she gets a better computer. And then we also play Lord of the Rings Online. And then there's some other things. Sometimes Baldur's Gate, too. We haven't done that in a while. But anyway, I will catch you later, sweetie. All right, let's go ahead and set that. And we're going to go ahead and uncouple. Don't need to go 10 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour should be fast enough. One handbrake applied. Did he? Did it recouple? I thought I heard a clunk as it recoupled. It surely did. There we go. I got the notification up here. It told me that it was recoupled, so... Are you going to go anywhere? Oh, I'm in forward mode. That's why. There we go. Reverse. There we go. I'm like, what was I doing? Yeah, you know what? I might have to go to the Y and turn this locomotive around. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Allergies. You got a rain came through, and I thought it would clean up the air. No, it made it worse. So, okay, going back to what Chris said, he's back on his regular night starting tomorrow, which means he can play Railroader all day, all night, all day tomorrow, and then go to work tomorrow night. Cool beans. 
All right, left shift and hit the, hit the glad hands there, lace those up, open the angle cocks. Take off the handbrake. Sweet, all righty. Make sure, all right, so he was going to want to stop at the Fusey, so I'm just going to, well, there is a bypass Fusey feature now, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it manually. I want to run down here. Where do I want to put him? I could put him in here. Um, these are all... Yeah, those are all out of the, if I stick them, if I do a run around and then push in, it'll block this switch. I won't be able to do any more run arounds, but then coming back with the Pacific, that's what I'm thinking about is my return trip with the Pacific. I could just basically bring everything down and then eventually run around using the main line over there. So, all right, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come down and go in reverse. I'm in reverse already. Let's bring them. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go down. We'll run around these cars. Then we'll push them in. And we can even push up a little bit. I got a little bit of room up here, but not a lot before I get into the into fouling the switch. And then I just put that locomotive back on that string of cars at the log and I'm done. And then we're moving on and we'll go back up and we'll go back up to Bryson. See, I like this, what they did with the grass. Look at this. Grass looks great. I mean, it looks like real grass up close. And the before, there'd be like little, like a little section of grass here, a little section of grass there that would be waving, but the rest would be just standing still. This looks great. Ground looks like there's grass on the ground. Grass standing tall. Yeah, this looks good. I liked it. Yeah, the new updates. I mean, that's, but this is this is what I was saying earlier on, and I'm going to repeat it again. Um, for people that just joined us, this is my rant that this is what Run 8 needs to do. Um, Run 8, even if it's just little tiny updates here and there, they need to come out with something at, at the very least once a month. You know, hey, we're, we 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 found some issues in. Like my, my my example was Victorville area. You know the the Barstow map, um, or the well, actually Victorville's in the Mojave map. We found some issues in the Mojave map. We fixed them. Here's some updates. We changed some assets on the map because we've got some assets now that we bought purchased from Joiner Rail because we know they've done that. So we changed some assets out to make them look a little bit more realistic. Here's the update. Things like that. That's the stuff that needs to happen. Um, but going years with no communication between, like they did with ver between version 2 and version 3, based upon what everybody's telling me, that's not, and this that's not acceptable. Sorry, that's just not acceptable. I mean, I, and I get if you if this is if you know Run Eight isn't your primary source of income, which it could be. Um, go forward about five cars. There you go. Um, which it could be if you build your fan base, but. My, that's my rant, is that, you know, do something. 
even if it's a little something, do something. The two cars. I could hold him to stop because he was coming in faster than three miles an hour. There we go. All right. Let's jump down. So he's going to, whatever I do, I'm going to foul one switch of the air. So I might as well just let it be that switch there. These guys, okay, so these guys are all set to be sold. So when these cars get picked up, we'll make, these cars will get picked up as well too. We'll make money on that. And then I'll have to sort through the other cars. And I'll sell, I'll just get down to eight cars, which is the original eight cars we started with. So I just should have just left it there. Alright, road mode. Let's go back by 10 miles an hour. But, yeah, I should have just left it. I could have used that money somewhere else. But that's alright. But you know what? Where's my post-it note? I need to put make a plan. A post-it note. There we are. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, I didn't realize I had the long one there. Sorry. Found a cable that I've been looking for. It was always it was on my desk the whole time. Supposed to have been actually in my softball bag. But no, it wasn't there. Okay. Railroader. So down to eight bars. I can stop any time, but I'm writing. Okay, there we go. Let's stop. And we're gonna go straight there. Which we can go down the main line. That one's already set. We'll set that one and we'll set that one. All right, that should get us right back to where we need to go in the logging. Okay, so down to eight cars. Purchase pulp wood. Okay. Silver. And then I want the uh was it the F seventy one? Because I will tell you, these little locomotives, they work really good for what I'm doing. But I will tell you that the, that grade going to Silva from Whittier, or even coming out of Silva to Whittier, before you get, you know, because it comes in and out of the tunnel, the tunnel kind of marks that spot. Um, I want something that will pull. And it'll be the it'll be a road train that will definitely pull. It can drop cars. Well, after I buy Silva, it'll then be um, buy Silva, then set up Dillsboro. So I'll have to pull cars. So that the, that locomotive could actually sit in Dillsboro. I'll need a switcher as well too, so I can switch pull cars up into Dillsboro, switch them out, block them. Because I'm playing in hostile mode, block them, 
and then use that F-71 as my road train to go from Dillsboro over through the, all the way through the map to drop strings. Uh, just All I'm going to do is drop strings. Like for Whittier, I'll drop a string of cars here. All the Whittier cars will go here. They don't have to be blocked by industry. They just got to be blocked for Whittier. So, boom, here's the Whittier cars. Then I'll have a locomotive, and I'll have a, the Whittier local will work this one. Then I'll have a string of cars for Bryson. The Bryson local will work those all those industries. So I'm thinking ahead that that's how I want to do this. Um, at which point, yeah, I'm going to have to open it up and have more people on the map playing uh, multiplayer. Kind of almost required because I'll have to have somebody responsible for logging. Um, if logging starts taking off, like I'm thinking I saw somewhere that it can go to tier 5. I don't know. Um, speculation on my part. But I'll need more logs, which means Walker will get going, so I'll have somebody responsible for running Connolly and Walker. So, One of our customers throws a fit that we let... Well, throw a fit that we left their stuff in the middle of the farmland so I had to go out at 5 a.m. with an engine to bring the train into the yard wait what a customer threw a fit that we left their stuff in the middle of the farmland so first of all you say middle of the farmland I immediately think that it's like out in the dirt somewhere so what you're saying, though, is that they just pulled the train, probably on, hopefully on a siding, stopped it, got in a van, went to a hotel, and the farmer threw a fit over that? I mean, did a block a road? I don't know. See, look at all, look at all, look at all those sparkles right there on the, coming off all those wheels. That's, those wheels are too shiny. Way too shiny. Even on a brand new rail car in real life, brand new rail car, they're not that shiny. Uh, let's go ahead at five cars. That might be another mod that we have is right here. It gives you more options. I'll be looking at some mods here. Look at the rocking. I love the rocking. Look at that. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. So, okay. Um, I would, you know, yeah, I get it. You're making the customer happy, but, I mean, if the stuff was left. Now, if it was supposed to be a pickup, it's on a siding. It was supposed to be picked up and taken away. And it didn't. Yeah, that would be one. If I was a customer, I'd be upset over that. I would call. Hey, my car, my, 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 my produce. They're spoiling, and you left them sitting here. What is going on? All right, so anyway, we got those. Um, I need to, let's go to the switch list. What do we got? And anything? Yep, we got a whole bunch that just got checked off. Awesome. So we can go ahead and clean those up. Switch list just got a lot. Okay, so a lot shorter. Uh, we got that one that's sitting here in Whittier at the Whittier Sawmill. So, wait a minute. Which one is that one? Oh. Wait, what? YVRR4925. That's this one right here. Are we not? Wait a minute. We're not in. That's why. I bet you he came up short. At which point, I'll go manual. I'm off the brake a little bit. And this is another reason. I mean, 11 cars? Yeah. 12 cars? It pushes up against the bumper. I mean, I got a lot of room here, but... All right. That's it. So I'm going to watch this little tag right down here. As I just push in just a touch. Uh... 
Okay, it just disappeared, so I can go ahead and hit the brakes. So now they're all grayed out, which means that they're all not going to be, they're all not, no, yeah, they will all now be processed. But that's, that's not too close to the bumper, but that's 12 cars. Do I need 12 cars? I don't think so. I think if I just go back down to the 8, the original 8 that I started with. Oh, the customer that had the whole, oh, he had 88. So, hold on. He had a customer that had that basically, for lack of a better description, say it's an 80 plus car train of nothing but coal cars. And that was just left somewhere. They're going to say that it was left out in the field. No, it's not in the dirt. Let's not over exaggerate. By law, the train crews can only operate so many hours a day. Then they have to go get rest. You know, now it is on the railroad. Fine. Van goes out to pick up the train crews. There should have been a train crew there, so there would have been a recrew. So if the ray crew, if the, if, the, if that train needs to keep moving, and the and the, and the railroad didn't recrew the train pro, uh, properly, then that's an issue. That's a customer issue. Not a customer issue. That's a tra that's a company issue letting the customer down. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's not, that's, that, is, that is actually, quite frankly, piss poor customer service. Very bad planning. All right, so that's the sawmill. All right, perfect. Okay, so Bryson, I got the Apple, one car going to Appalachian Hardwoods. And then come my way back, I've got one car at Stenzel that needs to go to the interchange. Uh, East Whittier Interchange, Connolly Creek L3. Wait a minute, what? I need to go down there. To, I don't know what that is. I know what that is. That's one of those cars that I just dropped off. I need to change the destination so, I can, so that way it doesn't show up on the switch list. I thought I had them all set for for sell, but I need to take them up. Okay, so we have a stealth train that it's carrying 80 cars loaded full of what? Fentanyl? Meth? Why can't the car run in, why can't the train run during the daytime? What is the government trying to hide? What is Biden trying to do? Uh, sell destination. Right, operations. Not set. Not set. There we go. We'll take that one off. And I don't want. I don't want to click. And do it to all these because all of these are being are going to the interchange. I don't want to change those. I have to change these just to, just to be safe. I want to change them to not set individually. So now you know who the customer is. See, back in the day of World War II, loose lips sink ships. Remember that? You just gave away. The game sucks. No, it doesn't, Dro. Game's fun. You just don't like you just don't like trains. Just saying. So, and it's a game though, but it is a game. I know you're kidding. Um, it remember, but it is a game because it's got the monetary thing. I just actually thought of something here as I was talking about this. It is fun, Dro. It is fun. I mean, it's different. If, you know, if you're familiar with Run 8, I mean, Run 8's a completely different animal. It is a Run 8's a full-blown simulator, um, open-world sandbox. This one, I'm not going to see. Well, it's not exactly open-world because the, the the scenario is the same. I mean, you get new cars that come in, and you got to go deliver them. And but there is some strategy to it as well, too. They've had, I mean, you look at the map. Excellent switching puzzles. 
I mean, this is Connolly Creek going up and doing logging. And that's why I'm sitting here. I just had a thought. I've got these three cars I was going to sell. I don't think I'm going to sell them now. I just, the thought that I just had, I'm going to make, I'm going to take them, I'm going to park them over here in Walker. I mean, but look at this. So if I go up, I got to go to Bryson and then back and then push up into Walker. And if I, or I pull into Walker and then push back up into here into these sightings, pull in, push back, pull up. I mean, there's some, I mean, you got a little place here for a runaround. I can see what we we'll pull up, do a runaround and then back in. That's what I'm talking about, the switching puzzles. How, how do you work these industries? The same thing, you can pull in. Got a little bit of a runaround right there. But this is Walker logging, Walker Ranch logging. That's that's a challenge. I could take these cars. I mean, and I don't know. I might sell them still, but yeah, if I if if I have a need for more logs, if it does tear up, if the sawmill does tear up to tier you know tier four, tier five, and beyond, then Walker Walker Ranch comes into play. So. Um, so my thing is maybe scroll back out. So you can see I there's a lot of railroading I have not unlocked yet. Um, how would it lose you? Uh, it, I mean you just I mean I I'm running one day like I said I'm in uh, this stream is already an hour and thirty minutes into this stream. Uh, I do two hours and then I'll stop and I'll go do something else. The red is open. The, the red is the interchange with the Class 1 railroad. Um, you can buy this one. It's open for purchase. Once you buy it, you got industries in here you get to work. Um, Dillsboro, you can actually turn this into another yard. So the interchange is down here. You pull up. And the, all the cars that come in from the interchange, pull them up to Dillsboro, work them. You got another roundhouse down in this area. Then you got the town of Silva and East Silva. So you got some industries to work down in here. I mean, then you then you have then you have the customers as well too for passenger service. And you stop at all these stations. So you can do pass I haven't even done passenger service in this day. I'm only at ten o'clock, so I'm only four hours into the day. Two hours, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go do something with my daughter. So what's up? How you doing, Red? Well, this game is it's it's railroading. It's it is it's I well you can name your you can name your uh, your um, railroad whatever you want to name it. Um, I Yosemite I'm by Yosemite Valley, so and there used to, used to be an old railroad that logging company that used to run up it from by what is now Highway 99 used to run up into Yosemite Valley, do some logging, and then bring the logs down. So I kind of named it after that, but this is about, uh, let's see, 1930s, 1940s. It's that transition era of between steam and diesel, and you start off with steam. You can buy diesel, but it's a, it's also, I want to call it the farming sim of railroading, because as you work and and make money. Come here, go to finances. Right now I'm sitting at $1,300, which that's a lot of money for uh, um, for the era that this is in. But you actually expand your railroad. You make money to buy equipment, to um, purchase new components. I have, let's go back to the map. I'll show you. Now the map, I am running a mod, so this is not the, the actual in-game map, but there are some mods that you can get. Um, I'm currently right now, as I scroll in, I'm working here. These cars need to come back to the interchange, but I ordered the next string of cars to come in here. There's a bridge that'll come across. It's building that bridge to expand my railroad out to, I think it's Fontana, to the, into this area. Um, you had to build a bridge. Where's Ella? Ella, Ella, Ella. Do, 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 right here here's Ella and then there's a bridge that comes across here you had to exp I had to buy there's three phases so I had to buy the get make the money to buy those three phases of cars 
to expand the bridge over to here to get into Bryson. Bryson's you like the first major hub. It's cheap. I mean, it's like what thirty dollars. It's in it, it um it's on Steam. Thirty dollars. It's in early access. I like it because like we just had at the beginning of the stream. If you go back and watch it, um, every month they have been working and coming up with new updates, fixing issues, adding enhancements. Um, they're actually actively requesting people to mod the game. And if they like what they see in some of the mods, they introduce that into the game. Um, so um, there are some things that they fail on to, just little things in my opinion. But then they added three new locomotives. You get to purchase, uh, when you start, the G16 Mogul is working. So that's the premise of the game. If you read it and go through the tutorials, this is a look. This is a short line railroad that's been completely decimated by a major flood, and you, it's now open for purchase. You've just purchased it. You get the G16 Mogul. It works, but there is the T17 10 wheeler that is non-functioning and is um, uh, sitting on the ground. So you have to rear rail it using the mogul, bring it back in and put it in the engine shop, which is this area down here. And over a period of a couple of days, you know, you hire a guy and he actually will come in and fix that. Once you do that, now you're now you're given two. You you, you know you basically start off with two um, locomotives. So I use one. The mogul is the one that goes up to the logging industry. That's my logging. Uh, and then the 10-wheeler, um, I use that. That's connected to my passenger train. And then I bought the P-18 Pacific as I got the money for it. It's only $7,000. That's easy money. I got the Pacific. That's the one that I'm using for freight. So, yeah, I think it's great looking. I mean, it looks it looks good. Uh, it plays very well. Um I've got a kind of a, well, I've got a ninth generation i7. It works just fine on it. Um, it's not making the fans go crazy or anything like that. So it, it's not a resource hog. Um, I haven't seen any evidence of any kind of memory leaks. It's pretty stable. For early access, it is pretty stable. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, as for a railroad game, definitely recommend this one. It is also multiplayer as well, too. And occasionally I've opened... Uh, I've opened it up and let people come on and play on, you know, play with me on this and help me out. And except for Chris, I'm not going to let him do that. I kid, Chris, I kid. Where are the mods at? Good, great question, Chris. Uh, Nexus mods there. You can go to, well, first of all, I would highly recommend going to uh, the Railroader Discord channel um, and join that. And then they taught there is... Um, some mods are there, or they talk about where their mods are at. But for the ones that I grabbed, I grabbed them off in Nexus Mods. Would you upgrade to AM5 AMD CPU? Uh, that's a tough question simply because I'm not... And this goes back to the days of when I used to build 8088 computers. Yes, I'm dating myself. Uh, back in those days... AMD chips were very quirky, and Intel were very stable, so I learned to do everything in Intel. Um, can't find the disk. You can't find their Discord channel? Did you search for a railroader? That's how I found it. Let's see. Can I come up with an invite? I'll help you guys out here. Let me see. Uh, na, 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 na. Here we go. Give me just a moment here, guys. Let's see if they'll let me do that here. There you go. I just put it in chat. There's the Discord link. And that should not expire. That should, hopefully, let me know if it doesn't work, but that should take you to uh, their Discord channel. I 
Now that I said that, maybe I'll double check. Oh yeah, no, that's Railroader. Okay. I had to double check. Knowing me, I can't talk and run trains at the same time, so I would mess something up. So, but would I upgrade to, uh, you know what? I'll be honest with you. Now, here's the thing. I'm not as strictly Intel going back to that question um, because I'm running a Radeon video card on an Intel product with an Intel CPU. I mean, Radeon, of course, with the latest update, they just came out with one for the Radeon. I run a 6700. Um, they're, you know, hey, go to AMD. I wouldn't mind. You're welcome. Um, Yeah, Railroads Online, um, I have it, and it never really excited me. And I guess the thing about it is I don't have to worry about laying the tracks. I mean, they're already coming up. Somebody else is doing it. And like I was saying, the switching puzzles are are actually a lot of fun. Um, hang on, I'm going to think. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stay with... Um, selling this East Bryce and Conley Creek 4054 would be this one here. Okay, hang on. I'm going to fix this problem. Operations, cycle, cycle, cycle. There we go. Okay. So got rid of that one. And we'll do the same thing on this one operations cycle it there we go and we'll do the same thing on this one take this off to not set not set cycle it there we go equipment should be set for sell destination east with your interchange okay so these cars are set for being sold so if i want to i mean i i at the last minute thought i was i could take them over to walker put them up walker but i'm not going to worry about that i don't have the extra engine um, stay with it. I mean, that's the thing I would tell you is stay with it until all, and that's what I do. Um, I do it on anything that's a computer. My iPhone is an example. Uh, when I get to the point where I can't update the operating system anymore because my phone's that archaic, then it's time to get a new phone. If you go and say, hey, I really want drill, you go, you just say, I really want to get railroader. It looks so much fun and you get it and it just, it, it doesn't want to run smooth. That's the time to go get a new processor. Don't get a new processor just because something the latest greatest has just come out. Okay. Get that, you know, get, get it when you need it. That's my, that's my, you know, and then. Unless you, and if you're thinking about it and you're not sure, my advice then is say, you know what? Start putting money aside now. And I recommend PC Part Picker. If you've never gone there, go to PC Part Picker. You can pick out your, you can pick out all your components for your computer, case, power supply, motherboard, processor, video card, memory, drives, everything right there. Go to PC Part Picker and uh, build your system. Build your dream system there. It'll give you roughly how much it's going to cost to build that system. And start putting money aside. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, too. You, I mean, if it's not much of an upgrade, then you know what? Take that money and put it into your next system because eventually... What we all have right now will become archaic. All right, let me jump up. I've got, I'm looking at the time here. I got about 15 minutes, so I may not be able to finish anything. I did get, nice thing is I got logging done. So we're going to jump to Bryson real quick. I do have, that's my, that is the, since I'm going to go to Bryson and I got everything. Hang on, let me fix so I can flip switches with this mod, mod the, the map mod. So we're going to flip. Well, actually, I don't have to go back down here because he's not going to come down that far. So we'll flip this back. This one. And let's check Ella. 
on straight two because the actual this is not this is not right. This depot is actually more like right here. Um, so that's not correct, but it's close enough. There we go. Setting all my switches back to normal. Go through Governor's Island. And there's supposed to be something on Governor's Island, too. I, I was watching something, and Governor's Island, there's, in areas that you have, you might actually get new industries. That would be pretty cool. All right, so I want to come down Main 1. Here's the depot here. And then the big red dot is the Fusey. So, all right, so what we're going to do, now this is pretty cool. With, oh, wait, with the map, I'm going to go scroll back. We're going to click on... That, I'm going to click on one of the cars, one of the passenger cars. Passengers, I want to stop at Whittier, Ella, and Bryson. Copy to the other two cars. There's three passenger cars. Click on the on the locomotive. Go to orders. I'm going to go in reverse. 35 miles an hour. And now he's actually going to stop. The new AI that they added last update last month added AI to the road trains on passengers so that the car will actually stop at the um, at the depot. I have it set for three minutes. You can see he's on the move now. He'll stop at the depot, wait there for about three minutes, wait for all the passengers to load up. Then he'll go to the next one, you know, next station, then the next station, and then I reverse the process. If we run at least two passenger runs a day in a 24-hour period of time, in game time, and I have, the set, I, have, I have the game set to one to one, so it's real time. He's arrived at Whittier Depot right there. We just got that, so he's now loading passengers, and we'll go from now. We'll go up and go from there, and he'll just go along, and I don't have to worry about this. Uh, oh, I sort. I got. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, see, I was going to get the new AM5 CPU, but it's not much of an upgrade. Uh, but I definitely do need to grab new AM5 board soon. I got, oh, I got sort of my dream PC. It's got 128 gigabytes of RAM, 4090, and yeah, the 5950. Yeah, you see, that's a nice system. I, mean, I got about the same amount of memory. I maxed my memory out. Um, uh, the, um, yeah, you know what? Here's the thing is I was going to go back. I mean, the last... Radeon card I had, I really was not thrilled with it, and I wasn't thrilled with the software. And at the, I was going to go back to um, Nvidia, and I started researching cards, and I found the current card that I have for the games that I play, which is primarily Run 8, Railroader, Lord of the Rings Online. I have this car actually benchmarked about 15% better than the NVIDIA card I was looking at, and it had more memory, and it was about $100 cheaper. No brainer on that one. So I, I, stayed, I stayed with it, and actually this particular card and the NVIDIA software had been pretty solid. So I'm not, you know, it's, 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 I would always say it's, except for Intel, I mean, like I am an Intel guy, and that's just, just something that been a while um but do your research check your benchmarks there's lots of information out there a um, lot of good websites obviously if you go to bob's website and yeah i would no no don't go to bob's website all right so we're going to jump right here we're going to do left control and t we're going to jump to right where i put my cursor and now we're in bryson there's the locomotive. This is the Pacific that I use. So waiting for everything to kind of render up. All right. So that's the Bryson Depot right there. What do you get in Bryson? Well, you expand, like I said, you expand the bridge out from Ella because you go Whittier, Ella, and you're just running back and forth with passenger service. You're running back and forth between those two with the freight service. And you get the cars to build the bridge. And you come into Bryson, and then you get this. We got a coaling tower. Is this empty? Nope. I still got 51 tons. So the coaling tower is full. So I brought one car in. I got 150 tons of coal sitting in here. You get 30 tons to start with. Two of these cars filled it the rest of the way. 
So I brought a car in here to add the diesel spout right here. So when I get start running diesel locomotives, the roundhouse works. All these tracks in the roundhouse, roundhouse are repair tracks. So you can slide a car in here. A lot of times I'll bring the my passenger train and sit them right here. So that way, you know, repair because over time they, you know, they will degrade. Um, there's some industries here and then there's industries down. That's what we're going to do. I got a few minutes here. I'm going to run down. And we're going to push this car here down to Appalachian Hardwoods. So I'm going to come down through here, come down through here. We should be good to go. All right, I'm going to ride the car. Let's get down there. At least get this thing down to Appalachian Hardwoods and see if I have enough time to at least pull and do some switching down there. If not, then we're just going to call and I'll leave the, I'll leave a look over there, save the game, and that'll be the next stream for Railroader. We'll keep going. All right, so actually what I need to do is I also need to pick the right locomotive. This is the controls here. Let me get off of that. The controls here are for the, for the number two locomotive, which is the um, locomotive sitting at the, at the what do you call it, um, sawmill. The YVR R1, that's the 10-wheeler. You can hover on this nice. That's the 10-wheeler. That one's moving 35 miles an hour. That's passenger. The other one here is the Pacific. That's the one I want. We're going to click on that one. Changes this down here. This is new part of the new update. I can click on here on the inspector. Changes the inspector out. I can click on the eyeball here. We actually look at the locomotive, but I'm on the car right now, so I don't need to look at the mo locomotive. Keeping that up is not a bad thing, too. But I can just hit R to bring it back up. R to get let it go let's go ahead and get out of here all right have a great rest of your day thanks drill for popping in appreciate you don't forget to subscribe man but trying to build this up yeah i want to get my community my, you know what the community is about I right, well it was all about run eight and it still is i want to build the run eight community um, but it's also about trains as well, too. And I'm finding that there's a lot of people that are like, man, I thought I was the only one that loved trains. No. Don't nope. be a train nerd. I do. I stop. Every time I see a train, I got to stop and look at it. Try to figure out what locomotives are on it. I need to go out and do some rail fanning. I want to take my camera that I use for softball. I can get capture some, put it down on the ground, capture some trains going by, get some Union Pacific and BNSF. That's what's in my area here. Yeah, Railroad's on. Going back to what Redmi said there, it looks like Railroad's online. I just, I have Railroad's online, and I know it was all about that. I think a lot of people are jumping off of Railroad's online and coming here. The other one that's interesting that's in that's in development, but it's not out yet for general play, is Century of Steam. That one, I don't know what they're doing. I know it's still under development. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, Heiss... Um, uh, he's got a lot of good YouTube videos, H-Y-C-E, I think is how it's pronounced. He's the one, um, in fact, well, he used to be a developer for Railroads Online. And then he moved, and for, if it was because he moved, or whatever other reason there was, he's no longer involved with the development, uh, to my knowledge, no longer involved with the development of Railroads Online. Maybe maybe in an advisory capacity. Don't want to throw that out there. Okay, I can't click on that. Oh yeah, I can. Stow stow that out of the way. Um, but he's now working on Century of Steam, and that's his project. Um, for real life, if you ever want to go meet the guy? And I one of these days I want to go. I want to check out his railroad museum. But he works at 
Oh, uh, was it the Railroad Museum? Somewhere in Colorado. Colorado Springs, I think. I'm not sure where he's at, but I know he's in Colorado. Um, but I'd like to go there and go check that and go check out his Railroad Museum. I need to go up to the northern part of California, up to Portola, because they got a railroad museum up there. And I'm willing to drop $500 to spend an hour driving an SW 1500. That, and I would actually, that would, that would be me. You would actually get to see my ugly mug. Because I would actually film that. Going over, talking with the guy, going over the controls and everything. Film it for my YouTube channel. All right, we are all switched. Line locked now. The main line goes straight. That's going to be going up to the bridge site. Appalachian Hardwoods is off here to the right. That's Standard Oil down there to the left. You can start to see some of the cars coming into view up here. So we'll be dropping off the car that I've got. One car here. There's, I think, two cars down here at Appalachian Hardwoods. little late on the horn there. Um, but I've got, I've got this car to drop off. I've got two cars to pull out. So there's going to be some switching to do down here. And you're going to see an example of some more, of some more, um, of an interesting, well, minor, but interesting switching puzzle on this particular industry. Go to the switch list. We're going to R1. R1 is where. Go ahead and come off power. Let's go ahead and hit some brakes here. Start slowing down. We'll get some independent brake. All right, so we're actually kind of lined up already. So R1 is right this track. I'm going to come to a stop here. This is R1 right in here. I've got the car in the back. We can hit the tab key to bring up. And I've got the car in the front here. The car in the back need to go to the interchange. So this is actually going to be pretty darn easy to do. I'm going to grab, pull both of these out. And then I'm going to push them into this one. And then I'll bring this one along with this one. Put them back on this track. And then come down here. Grab the two that are going to the Eastwood Deer Interchange. Pull them off. And then I need to go push up. Grab these cars that are sitting back in here on the bridge site that's being worked on. And pull all those back. At least back to Bryson. And eventually all the way back down to Whittier. That's what I'm going to do. So, but I've got like two minutes left of the stream. My daughter is waiting. Never keep your daughters waiting, Dad. So I'm telling you right now. She knows. I said one hour. She'll be like, Dad, you said one hour to go. And well, my hour is coming up. So, all right. Well, that's it for today's stream on Railroader. So I, it's early enough in Sunday morning. It's only 10 o'clock my time. So I'm looking at possibly jumping in and going ahead and doing another one later on tonight. But I may go back on to run eight. I may come back to Railroad. I haven't really decided yet. If I go run eight, I will be back on the um, on the Northern California sub. I've got some. I got a couple of industries on the L. Was it the LRV64 local out of Roseville, California that I'm working on? Um, or I may go back down this. I haven't been on Southern California, and I haven't been on the Mateo server. I haven't been, or there's always the Southeast down in the Florida, Georgia. I haven't been on that server in a while. So, but who knows? We'll see. What, we'll see. I got to flip a coin. I'm just kind of winging it today, but I definitely want to get a railroader in. I definitely want to get something in at least two streams today in so once again as i bring it to a close if you wouldn't mind if you don't have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it 
click the you know give me the thumbs up helps the analytics and hit that notification so you know when I stream next um, I am coming into a busy well this is a busy time of year for me I work at a high school I coach softball and we're traveling this week we, even though we're coming in the spring break and I've got about nine days of no work um, well I'm working <laughs> so some of it's voluntary some of it's paid but we're good red, red meat thank you very much Appreciate the props. Have a great day yourself. Hope to see you later. Anyway, that's it for me, Lazy Farmer. My name is Kurt H. I am out for the day. Have a good one.